big sky country, fields forever, and 10,000 genetically pure bison. Think of it as the Serengeti in America's backyard, and once finished, it'll be the largest wildlife park in the lower 48. It's putting together eventually about a three and a half million acre reserve. This is also the area where Lewis and Clark came through and saw enormous densities of wildlife. And so what we're doing is bringing back the keystone species and eventually they will run free and wild. Myers is one of hundreds of donors who've committed more than $60 million in the past decade to create the American Prairie Reserve. Among them, Candy Ayers, Forrest and John Mars, former Pepsco CEO Roger Enrico, and George Maitlich of Kelso & Co. We can complete this project for 450 to $500 million, including an endowment to take care of it forever, and do it in about 20 or 25 years. Today, the preserve spans 247,000 acres. Plan over the next several years, buy up an area the size of Connecticut, then work with the government to protect it, just like a national park. To us, that's the best way to go, an entrepreneurial private approach to create something for a public benefit without asking the government to donate any money. We're basically buying the ranches as they come available. Families who've been ranching the area for generations are not thrilled about their new neighbor and the influx of wildlife. Our county alone feeds 2.8 million people per year, and you take that out of production and put bison on it, and that's quite a dent in the food for the world. If they achieve their goals, they want everybody out here gone. Right now, the Prairie Foundation is paying top dollar for land. They're outbidding everybody person with the biggest checkbook is going to own it. Is it right? You know, that's the way it is. But the APR is determined to be a good neighbor. We're keeping up good fences so the bison don't negatively impact our neighbors. But we're also starting what we think are innovative ideas, helping them sell their beef into higher end, higher margin markets by being able to market their beef as wildlife friendly because they're in the region of the American Prairie Reserve. I sometimes think that to be a founder of Yellowstone or Yosemite would be one of the greatest thrills of my life. And so this is the opportunity to be the founder of what we think will be one of the jewels of this country eventually.